The biggest event to impact on world financial markets over the weekend was the release of official US job creation data. For the month of April, the US created around 115,000 jobs, whereas analysts expected 160,000 jobs, which created a significant level of disappointment. This was despite the fact that the March job numbers were actually increased from around 120,000 to 154,000. Basically, the US jobless numbers have actually fallen to around 8.1%, but that appears mainly because a large number of people are actually leaving the job market rather than actually getting new jobs. Both equity markets and oil were significantly impacted by these outcomes. The US dollar price for barrels of oil was down below $100, down to its lowest level since about February. Looking at those equity markets then, the Dow was off around 168 points, with most European indices following suit, down around a percent and a half. In terms of currency, we saw the familiar flight to safe currencies. The Kiwi also being double hit by that unemployment data which showed that unemployment in New Zealand had increased unexpectedly to around 6.7%. The Kiwi hit lows of about 79.3 cents against the US before recovering to around 79.5 cents. The Kiwi was down also to around 78 cents against the Aussie. Over the last few weeks, I've talked a lot about the increase in consumption in dairy in China. Well, China's meat consumption shows a similar significant increase in traje trajectory. In 1978, the Chinese consumed around 8 million tonnes of meat. That was around a third of what was consumed in the US. Now, in 2012, it's projected that the Chinese will consume around 71 million tonnes of meat this year, which is around twice what's consumed in the US. Pork is China's meat of choice, around 52 million tonnes or two-thirds of the total meat consumed, with chicken, around 13 million tonnes consumed in second place. European staples such as beef, however, languish a long way behind. The amount of beef consumed in China expected this year is around 8 million tonnes. One of the key things, however, is of course that beef is expensive and in terms of the fact that it takes up a large amount of grazing area relative to other forms of meat protein. The big issue though is around the consumption per capita. The consumption per capita in China is actually relatively low. The average American consumes four times more chicken and around nine times more beef. In fact, across the board, the Chinese consume only around half as much as the average American. That's really food for thought for New Zealand's meat producers.